Well, hello there, guys, all my paper airplane enthusiasts. Let me get this adjusted right. Um, I want to do a build tonight, but nothing too shabby. Um, something actually very easy. Something that needs to be done. Okay, I wonder if I have everything. Um, I need my tape. Let's have that. Okay. Okay. So, this build I am making, and I have finally did it, guys. I can say without a reasonable doubt that I've finally made a paper helicopter. But not just any paper helicopter, an actual true rubber band launched helicopter. Um, so let me get this tape ready. We're using black packaging tape supplied by Uline. Okay. It's not the best tape, but it's tape, so it works pretty good. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a regular uh, standard sheet of paper, and we're going to cut this in half because this uh, helicopter is not a full sheet of paper, it's actually a half sheet. So I'm going to fold the paper in half in landscape mode. That. And also, guys, um, I would like to say thank you, everyone, for my 200 subscribers that I got. That's actually why I'm doing this. I had come up with this helicopter not too long ago, but I always said if I get when I get 200 subscribers, I'm gonna do something special. Now, this thing is really special, and once you make it and um, play with it outside, you are going to love it. Now, windy days can be good for it, or it can be bad for it. I know there was one windy day, I was like, oh, it's going to get some really good air time today. And the wind was actually, the helicopter was coming out, you know, it was spinning, but it was coming out faster than I had expected it, or, you know, planned for it to come down. You know, the wind was blowing pretty hard, I'm like, why is it coming down so fast? Well, one of my children just had a birthday party, and he had some leftover helium balloons. So... I sacrificed one balloon. I took the balloon outside to let it float away and see what happened. And so although the, the helium balloon had plenty of helium to go straight up in the air, it was fighting trying to get up straight in the air. It was getting pushed down. So the wind was actually uh, pushing the balloon down. So it, it kind of made me feel good to know that it wasn't something that I made that was failing. It was just the wind was being um, horrible that day. Uh, um, also with me, I got my stuff, I got my teas. Oh yeah, my teas. My Kratom tea from Asia. I actually know this is from another brand, America, but Asia. Oh, and got my blue dew. Always got a blue dew. Okay, so anyway, now that you have this, you're going to fold this um, in portrait. Uh, fold it as straight as possible. And actually, this paper that I've been using is 24 weight paper. Um, you could probably use 20 weight. I don't have any 20 weight with me. I really don't ever go lower than 24 weight. But I'm sure you could use 20 weight. That's what you guys got. Whatever you got, use. So then we're going to fold this part here down. Here. Let's try to get it straight out. We can't see this one too well. Okay. So, so we got that. Okay, so now we have this. Now, we're going to fold over. Just it's almost like making a standard, you know, that first paper airplane you made in school. The well, it's not my first paper airplane, but some people made that thought it was like one of the best paper airplanes, and it was for this time era. Okay, so then after we get that, you don't have to. It's good to do this. Help get everything smooth out. But trust me, guys, you are going to love this. I hope you do. You might not. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. No, not really. It's actually. Then after that, we're going to fold this over. Again. Okay. Let's see if I can. My eyesight's not the best because I do have glaucoma. And, uh, yeah. 
not a very pleasant thing to have. Now, let me get the other one. It doesn't have to be very, very even. I mean, it is a helicopter for all, so it's going to be spinning, but... Okay. So we got that, and we're going to take the scissors here. So again. That. Okay. We have that. Now, I guess that we're going to fold this over each other. Probably made them a little too close to that, but... It will work just fine. Okay. And this part right here, guys, we are going to cut this off. As you know, I am not an origami guy, so I do. I get it. Yes, I use scissor, scissor tape, glue if I have to. I don't use glue though. Okay. So, once we have this, now. We're going to go to our good old tape. I'm going to cut a little bit of tape off. Not to be too big. But just enough. If you wanted that, I probably wouldn't get too big. But we're going to put some here to keep this held together. I'm going to hold the other part together. Now, I have made some that weren't cogent in tape. And it worked for the most part, but it was pretty weak. Uh, it couldn't really handle the rubber band, and by the way, I'm using this type of rubber band. This is a folder, a desk folder rubber band, I guess you call it, and I link two together, and this is what I use because I'll link two, so you can hold it to get it up there, and then if it breaks, you got another one, you know. So, okay, then after that, that this all together now, I'm going to take some more tape here. We're going to, now you got to go at an angle, but let me show you if I can tape. This tape's not the best, but it works. It's my expensive tape. I don't like to use all that up. Okay, so let's see. You know what? I'm going to cut this tape. This piece of tape was not long enough. It was not long enough. So, so long. I don't care if I run out of this tape. I got plenty. I got a lot of rolls of this tape. Okay, so I made a piece long enough. So now I'm going to go kind of at an angle with it. Try to cover up as best I can. Okay, so I have it covered up. It's over. Now, doesn't matter what size for this, but we're going to kind of I'm gonna get the tape to overlap it. This isn't like a build really, this is just something very simple, but you'll you'll really appreciate it. I'm gonna take the other part and put that on there. And yes, I really I would suggest you guys probably coat y'alls. You, you don't have to, but it's a lot better if you do because it doesn't work all that well if you don't coat it all the way with tape. It has a lot of problems. this off. Okay. As you can see, I didn't do the prettiest job with it, but whatever. So now we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Grab my tape. Stuff I have plenty of. I'll probably do a video too of it in the air tomorrow, hopefully. I still got some wind. Hopefully the wind is not blowing downwards anymore, which is really annoying. I don't know how why would the wind blow down, but it does. If you get one of these on a thermal, it'll probably be pretty easy to do. So now we're going to Okay, so we got that on there. You can use heavier paper. I've already I've actually went to the point of using cardstock. And it working. So that's pretty great. So now we're going to just do the same thing. The tape actually helps add strength to this paper, so it doesn't. Because if you don't use the tape, it will um, it will actually turn into a helicopter while it's trying to go up, and it really won't go up high at all. It'll make a cool sound, but it will be very annoying. It won't really go up high. It won't really go up and give me high HP before. This here. here. 
Now, if you have any excess tape on the nose, which, let's see, I don't think I do. It's best to cut it off. There's no excess tape on there. And I don't know why this is, but I've tried it. This, I could usually um, flip it over there, but I'm going to cover it up, cut it off, because for some strange reason, I don't know why, I guess this doesn't pull into an angle, it won't work, so it doesn't work right if you do that. So we just cut another piece of tape off. And sometimes it do work, sometimes, sometimes it will work that way, but a lot of times it won't, so I just cut some more tape. I know you guys might, I don't, you might not, but in my situation, I have tons of tape, so I mean, it's not really wasting it for me, because I have a lot of it. This, you know, we're going to fold this over to help pull it all together. Get that in good. The other um, little, the paper rocket I showed you, which goes up and it comes down slowly, that's not really a paper helicopter. That's just made to go up. It's supposed to be like a rocket, and it's supposed to spin down so it doesn't injure itself. The, the thing comes down really fast compared to this. This thing actually floats down like a little. So, let me see. Okay, now the part, I should have did this earlier, but the part that, the part that's open, let's see if I can find it, I think it's here. Okay, so the part that's open will stay on the top. So the part that's open, where you fold together, leave that, this is going to be up, and then we're going to take the scissors, because you got to cut a little spot in there so you can get your uh, ribbon in there. Don't make it too big. Let's see how I made it. Let's see. Let's try and see. Let's see, hopefully. Let's see. Okay. And kind of get this off, but don't twist, don't twist the helicopter at all, because if you do, it will mess it up pretty bad. Now we're gonna get some more tape. You don't have to do this, but it's Works a little bit. It gives a little more, uh, a little more aerodynamics. So I'll take some more tape. This inner part right here is not covered. I'm gonna put some tape and cover that. So if it's hitting the air, it kind of helps smoothen it out. So I'm gonna just get that on there. That's good. Now a lot of you have seen paper rockets look like this, and they shoot from far. This is a different. This is this is a different level. So. Now, you don't have to twist or anything. So, when you have your paper helicopter, yes, it's one blade, obviously, but this was the only way I could get it to work, guys. So, but it, you're, you're going to really appreciate it. So, um, once you have that, this is it. This is everything. So, see it. This, everything is straight. There's no, real, no, no twisting involved in it at all. And, so, let me show you. This is the rubber band I showed you. The folder... That's what we're ran. There's two of them together. And I mean, you could use one if you want, but I always use this. So, because the least amount, you want torque, but not too much. You want, you can, if you hold about like this much and then pull and release, it's good. If you get all crazy with it, you know, and don't, don't do this. And I try this, that may go higher, it will just destroy it. But yeah, you're going to do that. And obviously, I'm going to put it in there. I'm gonna hold it straight up. I hold it straight up, and then you're gonna shoot this in the air. This thing is gonna go up really high. Okay, so it's gonna go in the air. Then it's going to come down, and it's gonna be swirling like this. It's gonna be spinning. It's gonna be coming down very slowly. And um, it goes a lot. I'm gonna tell you, it goes much higher than the trees. Way higher than that. So it probably goes about as high as two big trees um, stacked on top of each other maybe three, I don't know, it's, it's pretty high it comes down so slow, it's beautiful guys, it's beautiful um, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said I appreciate the 200 subscribers, I know some people are like 200, that's not that much, but to me that's a lot and I'm very thankful for what I have and um, I'm just happy to share my, this stuff with you guys and hopefully like that you appreciate it at least somewhat as much as I appreciate it. Um, I had someone ask about the the double R eight video. Yeah, double R eight video. I will do that. 
but the thing about the double r8 video is i'm going to have to lay them out here there is i have um probably probably have three i want to say three different variants of the double r8 and i haven't really decided which one i want to go with yet and i'm still upgrading it making it better and better and it's been amazing and uh, like i said those i'm launching those airplanes with a rubber band I don't have any more with me but just see how i have this i'll put it i'll get another rubber band just like this and i'm putting that into the hitch and then i'm launching that so some people will like oh well why are you not meaning a person some people be like well why would you want to launch your um paper airplane with the rubber band i think i could throw it fa farther you know with my arm well no you can't that no you can't not um that is physically impossible a baseball player couldn't throw a paper airplane faster than if now i'm just saying this one but two of these rubber enough the airplane's pretty heavy yeah obviously but you know just like this there's no way you can throw this up as high as this is going to launch it um but getting that one's just getting off my tangent but yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video please guys make this uh, helicopter do some videos um give me some feedback tell me what you think um i'm telling you what i think i really love it i know yeah it looks pretty simple but sometimes the most simplest things are the best you know that's the best way to go with it and um it took me years to actually get this now i can't i mean some people may say that's not a helicopter well i mean to me it is it comes down like a maple leaf i guess i could say but it comes down very slowly and it took me a while because I kept putting twists in them and I was shooting it up and then I was uh, launching it up and it would come straight down to the ground. I was getting so frustrated. And then, so I just was like, you know what? No twists. I'm just let it twist. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it get itself out there. I got some tape in my mouth. Um, <laughs> I was, I'm just going to let it get itself out there, launch it up there. And it did it and it worked the first time. I was like, huh. I was like, lucky shot so went back into the house and made another one did it i was like huh it's working and it wasn't a windy day at all it was very calm these work the best on calm days i mean it's fun because you can launch it up there just chill and watch it come fly you know watch it um, come down just flying around it's amazing and like i said if you get good wind not wind that's pushing it down fast it's great if you get wind that's pushing it down and it's pretty boring uh, you're like uh I don't want to do this, but if it's a summer day, there's no no wind, or if there's wind that's blowing upwards instead of downwards, some good thermals, amazing. And like I said, I haven't done it with any lighter paper, the 24 weight paper. So if you guys have anything lighter, make one. Uh, give me some feedback. Let me know. I don't have anything lighter than 24. I've always been a 24 weight, 28, uh, 32 weight paper. And now my office max up the street has 40 weight paper. Um, well, they run out as soon as they get it. You know, every time, well, at least I think. I'm not too sure. I told them what I do with the paper, and maybe they just hide it. When they see me, they're like, oh, you know, he's wasting paper. He means paper planes with that. You got to sell it to people that, <laughs> the big companies, and people that are actually for office work and blah, blah, blah. I had one guy in there say that to me one time. He was like, oh, he was like, what do you do with it? That much paper. You know, we'll have to print off. I'm like, you know, actually, I don't print anything off this paper. I make, I make paper airplanes with it. He's like, oh, just, that sounds like a waste. I'm like, yeah, well, you know, it's my paper. It's my money. I do whatever I want to do with it. So, yeah. I don't think he liked that, though. But, yeah. So, again, guys, thanks for 200, um, 200 subscribers. Let's get it moving up. I'm going to always do paper airplanes the day I die. I'm 38. Oh, I might not have much longer left. I don't know. But I'm going to do it to the day I die. I'm going to always approve upon them. And I'm not trying to be the best out there, but I strive to make something different. Something, something simple. Pretty simple for everyone to be able to have it. Get a hold to. I know money is like kind of hard to come by. So then, like these rubber bands, some some guy was telling me like, hey, these rubber, not everybody can afford those rubber bands. I'm like, 
you don't you don't have to use these rubber bands. You can use like any kind of rubber band really to be honest with you. But I like these are the best. They last longer. And they're they're really good. The only thing I don't like about these rubber bands, I've actually <laughs> flown I've actually flown some airplanes with these rubber bands and then I had one break and it hit me. Oh my god. The pain was incredible. It it was it hurt really bad. It hurt so bad that I was scared to lunch rubber bands. I mean, I was scared to lunch planes with them for a while. I was like, I'm not doing that. I was like, wait, no. But when they get really old, they do that. But a trick to them, if you want them to be like semi strong, but not too aggressively strong, I just pre stretch them out and then put like some uh, cooking oil on them or some Vaseline and then um, put it out in the sun. But have to be hot, obviously. or you can put them in the microwave for like 10 seconds, and then they're like so mellow, and then they really don't even break. I mean, well, they will eventually, but they last it increases their life by like 30 plus percent. So, but again, guys, thank you for everything, thank you for everything you've done for me, and um, just let's let's um. And get this channel up and running and i'm gonna keep on doing this i'm gonna try and get some more videos out i know this office is cluttered this is not my office by the way but you know it's a little cluttered in here but um like i said i hope you guys have a great day i love all you guys and powerhouse is gonna go up to the top i hope at least um one way or another one goes to the top so i love you guys take care bye Oops. i never off the camera